Good afternoon and welcome to Studio MDAZ. I am Debbie and I am so happy you're here today. And I have a special co-pilot in the house today. One of our Czech Savvy sisters, Tony Doss, is with me today. Luckily, she lives right around the corner from me. And so you have a visual. So my camera's backwards. Hold on, it's the other way. There we go. Hi, everyone. You guys, this is Tony Doss. Uh, just a delight. And she is going to be on questions and comments today. Uh, apparently, my mom thinks she needs a day off. I don't know what her problem is. So I'm going to have to work with her next week on, you know, maybe working more hours. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, we have a fun project today, you guys. I'm excited. Hi, uh, hi, Shannon, Shelly Stacklin's here, uh, Debbie Freeman, Kimberly Wold, hi, Elaine, Marianne, Lynn Sanders. You guys know I just do this for a second in studio, so don't panic. I uh, Just for a second, we want to say hi to as many as we can. Hi, Allison. Hi, Sharon. It's one of the advantages of getting on early. We usually try and catch you. Hi, Barbara. Sue Condor's watching. Rhonda Ritchie. Hi, friend. Uh, let's see. Yes, everybody saying hi to Tony. Did you find it? Uh, not yet. You have to push it down. So go to Studio and then Studio MD and then push it all the way down. Hi, Andy. We'll get it in a sec. Hold on. Uh, Kimberly Lyon is here. It's still searching. Let me see. I should have put you on my oh, Wi Fi. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Uh. Uh, let's see. Hold on, gang. Just give me a second. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Barbara. Oh, thank you. You love my pink. It's for tonight because tonight is our... Um, tonight is our... I'm going to have you hook up my Wi-Fi, so go to your settings. Okay. There. Um, okay, it might take a second, but we'll get, we'll have it. Oh my gosh, somebody activated a stars party. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Vina. Um, yes, uh, so tonight is our Sparkle 6 event, and it's going to be on this Studio MD AZ page, and it's also going to be on Royal Funky Junk's page tonight. It's a live Zoom. There's six of us crafters. We're all doing similar projects, and tonight's theme is garden. So I thought I'd get ready and I have my garden apron, which I just love. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I'm gonna assume Chris Hunter's in the house because I keep seeing hi, Chris. Hi, Alicia. Uh, I do have a fun project today. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, Fran Ward's going to a birthday dinner. Happy birthday, Fran. I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday or today? No, it's today. Uh, Alicia, you're back in the UK and I missed you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, guys, I have so much to get to today that um, blondes and pink, yeah, hot pink. I don't do well. Chris Hunter, yeah, Chris Hunter's in the house. I um, wonder if all of our Sparkle Six or most of them will be here today. Judy, thank you. Uh, yeah, but interesting, blondes can't wear light yellows generally or light pinks. And uh, I can, oh my gosh, we made the stars party. You guys, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. These, uh, what, do, what do I do? Oh, these boots are made for checking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna check all over you. Da -na, da -na, da. Uh, yeah, so that's my, my corny uh, song when we make a stars party. Everybody's got their gig, and I, that's, I wish I had a better one. I wanted to do We're fa We Are Family, but anyway. Okay, okay, Tony's on board. She's got it. We're all good to go. Hi, Kristen. Okay, thank you. I got this at a boutique in Denver, Colorado, so um, I, I love it. Yep, today was Fran's birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Fran. Okay, you know I love to show you what we're gonna do, and I have all of the links. So, I know you keep asking a lot of times during the lives, and we try to answer, but honestly, I put all of the links above. So, anything you need to know is above. Hi, Beth. Um, so, that's where you can um, find where everything is, and I've double-checked. Everything at this very second is available. I have no control over if you people leave and run over there and buy them all out. But it is corny. I know, I know it's corny. Uh, so anyway, let me show you what we're gonna do today. So I have this awesome plate I got at Pinner's Conference in Kansas City. It was just wood. So I um, have already given it a coat of white because you know I can't stand having you just watch me paint. So hi, Cindy from Wyoming. Hi, Vicki. Oh, hi to Tony. Sorry. Sorry, Vicki. I thought that was for me. 
So, um, <laughs> hi, Viv. And I have told um, Tony, just jump in whenever you can, right. whenever you feel like it. And yeah. so she will. Um, okay. So, got this. And this is from a company called Viking Woodcrafts. You guys, they have incredible stuff. Um, maybe a tiny bit pricey, I'm not going to lie. This, this plate was $20. So, mm, I was a little sad about that. But, um, I'm going to use it as our hanger for today. So, it didn't have a hanger on it. So, I wanted to show you. Go buy these. These are called um, claw tooth or tooth hangers. And you just set it on your, on your project and use a mallet. I, well, you can use a hammer, but it kind of push it down too far. Howdy, Robin. And then I mallet down and it's one second and now you have a hanger. So I got these at Walmart. They come in a big package of them. So just FYI, anytime you wanna hang something, go get these. Don't try and do those tiny little baby screws. They're a nightmare. Okay. Karen Latuso is watching. Hi, Karen. We have Vicki Nance. Vicki. And Denise Anderson, Kimberly Hi, Wolf. She's telling me to practice my eye roll. <laughs> I, I don't do think that. Tony is capable of an eye roll. She's like one of the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, yeah, I don't know that she's capable of it. And you know my mom, she'll just come around the corner and do it. So, um, okay, so we're gonna use that. And I have just printed right off the internet sawtooth. Yes, Shannon, thank you. Well, I don't know what I said, but um, I printed these right off the internet. I Googled uh, Alice in Wonderland clock because I just wanted the clock face and these were actual clocks, but I just printed it right out on my handy dandy little printer and I made sure I had the right size. Simple, 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 simple. And I got three choices. Um, and wait till you see what we're gonna do with all these. So these were my three choices for clock faces. So here's what we're gonna do. And Tony and I had picked this one, but I, oh yeah, for sure Barb, for sure Barb will do it. Uh, hi Elaine from Alabama and Christina. Um, so uh, this one, Tony and I love the colors in it. So let me show you what we're gonna do. And then you can see if you wanna hang out, cause I think you will. Um, okay, so that's going there. I am going to do a black and white diamond and I'm using a stencil and I'm doing a diamond all the way, all the way around that scallop part. So that's gonna be adorable. And then I'm going to decoupage, I'm gonna cut this little clock out, decoupage it in the center, and wait till you see this little guy I got. So I have the link for him too, you guys. I got him on Amazon, and he's no longer on Amazon, but he's on two other stores. So um, he's on Wish, and he's on another place called DC Store, I think is the name of them. So I gave you the link for that. Okay, so, so far, and we're gonna antique him and everything. Okay, and then I have molds from, they're called Cherry on Top, and I'm gonna show you how I do them, but I bought an Alice in Wonderland whole entire scene mold from Cherry on Top. And um, this is just a little Form Flex mold that I made, and she's gonna go there. And then I also have little cards that were in this mold package. And then a Wonderland sign is gonna go on the bottom in gold. And I'm gonna do a, a gold trim around the whole thing. Come on, you guys, you know, this is gonna be darling. And now you're thinking, how in the world are you gonna get all that done in a minute? I'm gonna try. So I wanna show you this. If you don't like that big, that humongous, um, oops, wrong way. If you don't like that humongous rabbit, you know what? You can get these little guys at Hobby Lobby and look, he could just be the center. So that's another option. You don't, oh, thank you for all those hearts, you guys, and all the stars, you guys are so amazing. Um, but he, you can put him on here, and he was only like $4 or something like that. He was very inexpensive. So if you don't like the big one, just go get one of these little guys. They're and liking if, him, he's adorable. Oh, good. Okay. And Ask what kind of paper you use to print. Uh, copy books. paper, great question. Just regular copy paper. And uh, let's see, let's get our Mod Podge ready. So let's just go for it, you guys. I think the first thing I wanna do is do our diamonds so that we don't get anything on our paper just in case. So I've got this um, diamond stencil because if you know me, you know I don't. I do not paint diamonds anymore. It's all the measuring, I'm terrible at math, and it's just too much to, to deal with. So I don't do it. Not gonna do it. 
So let me get this down. I do want a diamond right here in the center and make sure that I'm somewhat gonna be even on both sides. We have Mary Lou Phelps. She sprinkled. Thank you, Mary Lou. Mimi Snyder. Mimi Snyder. Hi, Mimi Kelly. Hi, guys. Hi, Lisa Kid. And Brenda Miller. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use just, uh, did you know you could put uh, I missed it. What did she say? Did you get that? Molly Kelly, I think. Um, you guys, if, if you don't know, these these uh, comments fly up so fast, it's a miracle if we can catch any of them. She says you can put saran wrap under that and iron it on, and it does a great job. Yes, I've been watching that. Shars Art from the Heart's been doing that, and it's so cool. I watched somebody else do it the other day. Okay, so I'm just using a regular Deco Art Americana Lamp Black. It's the color I use for everything, and we are ambassadors for Deco Art. We don't get money. We do get some free products, so just FYI. Um, and I'm going to use just a regular, I call it a stipple brush. It could be a stencil brush. Some people call it a wax brush. Um, good to see you twice in one day, Marion. Oh, good, yes, tonight's another night. And when you are stenciling, dip into your paint, and then you wipe it all right back off, you guys. Get it all right back off, and let's just go for it, because that's my favorite thing in the whole world. I need to make sure I'm straight up and down, and I am. And I'm not a stippler, I'm a swirler. Another question is, what kind of printer did you use? I have an HP, um, 1250 Pro or something like that. It's a Hewlett Packard and it is a, um, so what doesn't, what's the opposite? So mine's a laser. The Is that the right? Inkjet. Or mine's an inkjet? Um, Tanya Sim says inkjets work. Okay, that's what mine is. One of them doesn't work. What's okay. the other kind, a laser? A laser printer. Okay, laser okay. printer doesn't work, but mine is an inkjet. So luckily I did something right on that deal. And you guys, I use it all, I am printing stuff constantly. When I do all my pinups, I'm always printing out the pinup girls because all that stuff's just free. Just print it out. Now, for the record, I don't like a stenciled look, so I will go back over all of those really quick if they need it with a, um, I'll hit it with some regular paint. So, um, and I want to just keep going straight. Uh, let's see, I want to go straight up my board. Make sure I'm in the right place every time. So you're just gonna cover up your previous ones. Carol Pulver loves your apron. Hi, Carol, thank you. All right, why is this tricky? Okay, here we go, it's right there. And then we're going to move it up to here. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna have to just move it a little bit at a time, I can see, and that's okay. I don't have anything else there. So now I'm just gonna head over this way. Chris Kuhn commented that inkjet will bleed if not sealed, laser printer won't. Oh, okay, good to know. Here's the, the tricky part of this right now, you guys, is keeping your stencil um, straight because my stencil isn't like one of those huge stencils. So I'm just really trying to watch what I'm doing and keeping it straight. Um, I have base coated the background, so if for some reason I, you know, get off track, I can easily fix it. But I don't think we will. I think we'll be okay. And Deb Brown commented she wants to know if you painted your apron. I did not. I bought it, but isn't it darling? Everybody's I mean, loving it. It, it is such mm -hmm. a pretty apron. And it was very inexpensive, too. It was just one of those things that I found that I absolutely loved. And um, I, I think it was like $18. It was, it was just for how pretty it is, it was worth it. Okay, now you see how fast this can go with a stencil. If I was trying to measure all this out, what a nightmare, you guys. Nobody's got time for that nonsense. And how thrilled am I that my other, I mean, that I didn't plan it out, trust me. But luckily, I have a perfect diamond on the bottom, and I have another perfect diamond right here on the top. So, believe it's me. because you're the master crafter. It is because I'm the master crafter, but it was a total fluke. I'd love to think it's because I planned it all out way ahead of time. <laughs> Okay, let's get these back on. Uh, I also have, I believe, uh, my mom should be on, unless she, she is. Is she? I'm okay, sorry. so my mom is here. Barbara Corona is my mom, and she will also help with comments. 
and um, we also have maybe I'm hoping because Cindy's been sick, but Cindy Kofer and Sue Fena, if they're both here, they will all help with comments, you guys, and questions if you have them. But hopefully we've covered everything since I, I've been keeping the links above for you. So we have Sandy Everett here, Hi, Carol Sandy. Edison, Kim Fuentes, Sandy Lance. Hi, Sandy. Now you guys see, this is gonna be the tricky part when we get up around this corner. I'm a little nervous, but um, the, hey, the only thing I didn't put on the description was this, uh, was this stencil and it's on Amazon. So it's on also on my website, my, uh, you know, special resources page. It's there also, oh, look at this. I'm gonna be, almost, I'm gonna be close. We're gonna have to really fudge to make this work. So let me see. Um, and I'll do all the touch up. I'm not worried about that. Okay, guys. Um, I might have to hand do some of the diamonds up here. Cause you can see we've got, oh, I might get close. Oh, Babu's here. Hi, Linda Babu. Thompson, Debbie Fritz. All right, I'm going to do these down here and then I'm gonna to have to freehand a couple up here. So no big deal. And you can do this. You guys can do this. Uh, Aloha. My friend Linda's from Aloha. I don't know where that is. Okay, let's see. You guys, just remember, I'm going to do the best I can, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll freehand the rest. And you know, if you were here the other day on that bunny that was my nemesis, um, <laughs> we ended up pulling it off, and it, it actually turned out pretty cute. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there, but already you can tell, look how cute this, whoops, look how cute this is gonna be. It's perfect uh, for our Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so this is where, you know, sometimes you gotta do some fudging, and then hopefully we'll put a ribbon or something right there, and nobody will ever be the wiser except for you all. So I'm gonna grab this. And I'm just gonna kind of go along with what, what it was before. And I'm gonna make all of our diamonds be a little bit darker anyway. I want them to look a little bit more hand painted. Um, let's see, let's go here. I know this panics a lot of you, but it is what it is. I'm most likely gonna put something right over all this right here. And Brocco says you are so creative. Oh, Kathy Ann, Rankin you're so here. sweet. Debbie McNair, Cheryl Phillips. She asks what paint you're using. Uh, I am just using a DecoArt Americana and, uh, lamp black. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I love to look at. Um, love to try and help you guys, but I've got to look at it this way. Um, it'll be here. Latanya Harris asked how the bunny turned out and are you going to post him on your page? I did. I posted okay. him. Uh, I can have Tony go pick up. Go, he's across the room. We can have Tony get, grab him so you guys can all see him. But, um, okay. So, sometimes you just got to fudge. It's not perfect and don't worry. We will put something there. And we've got um, gold dots going in between everything also. So for the most part, we've got that done. And here's our issue part. I, my camera's backwards. Where am I? Now I can't even find it. Oh, here's our issue part. So I'll put something over there, so not to worry. Okay, so Tony's got our, <laughs> look at. So if you, missed, if you missed it, we had some major issues with this bunny. Um, I had stopped the ears, the floral ears up way too high. And so all I had to do was just so crazy. It was such an easy fix. I just had to bring, I had to add a little bit more floral onto the bottom of the ears, bring them down. And then I added the trim around the ears, which just kind of helped set them off. And um, I tried to incorporate everything you guys suggested. And then someone said, I think you need to have some more orange in that. And sure enough, I had this little tiny carrot from at home. It was $2.49. And then I just threw in one little orange uh, bud. But, and then if you'll turn them around, yep. you guys know you always finish your product. Everything you do, you finish your whole project because I could turn around and sell this in a boutique right now because it's finished. If I wasn't finished, then I would, and when, when some of you guys do your projects and don't finish them, I'll say something like, hey, you know, just a, just a thought. Maybe it's you want adorable. to finish it up. 
So, okay. Now let's go ahead and cut this out. And um, I hope you're enjoying this. I think this is just so fun to do some of this kind of stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't always do a lot of it, but once in a while I love doing, um, I mean, to me this is a cutesy little project, but also something that uh, I would love like in my granddaughter's room or something like that, so. And like I said, when I printed it out, I went to my, and you guys, I am the opposite of techie, so I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Um, so if I can do something on the computer, so can you. And I just um, download it onto my computer and then I put it, you know, where you can edit it, and I just made it the right size, and um, that was it. I mean, it was simple, simple, simple. Now remember, all this around here is gonna be gold, so you're not gonna see any of these black issues, but already, how cute is that? And it fits perfect. So let's get this Mod Podge down. Uh, hi from Delaware. Your carrot made all the difference. The carrot did, the back didn't is great. it? It really did. Now I know you guys, there's a number of ways to do decoupage. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people are doing the uh, saran wrap technique, which is so cool. I haven't tried it yet. So, um, you know, rather than come on here and look like a moron, I decided to do it. I'll wait till I can practice it and do it myself. Because of the way the plate's made, I don't think ironing is going to be my best bet. So for today, I'm going to do old school um, decoupage, which just means I'm just gonna use a regular brush decoupage and um, do it on top and bottom. Okay, so let me make sure I get this down. I need her, I need my numbers right where they're supposed to be. How much do you love though that this was free? Um, you got that right off the internet, I right? just printed it right off the internet, right off. And then look, I'm just gonna use my fingers, push it all down. I'm gonna take a credit card and, um, or my casino room key, or, and then I'm gonna start and just push it all out towards the end because that's where I want that glue to end up. You guys, paper, copy paper, decoupages perfectly. We've been so used to decoupaging napkins lately that to have something that goes down perfectly with zero wrinkles is a humongous blessing. Christina Turner says free is good. Free is so good. Um, free is so good. I mean, I feel like now, I know some things, if it says stock photo, I do not, I don't take a picture of it. I mean, I don't download it because more, most of the time it's got the, um, like their watermark on it anyway. Um, but if it doesn't say stock photo, I Okay, Carol Pover asked, did it print that size or did you resize it? I resized it. So I, I printed it when I downloaded it, I downloaded it in actual size. And then when I, um, when I put it in my edit program, which is just on a Mac, it's just called Finder. I put it in there and it gives you the option to resize. And I resized it to eight point, uh, 9.5. So I resized it to 9.5 inches, which was perfect for my circle. Oh, we have Jillian Bowes from Dundee, Scotland. Oh, awesome. Jillian, I love that name anyway. Okay, let's, um, I want to, let's see, what do I wanna do next? I think I want to clean up some of this stuff real quick uh, because some stuff like that, I don't know about you, but it's so distracting for me. Thank you again so, so very much, you guys, for those stars. And, um, okay, let's just clean this up a little bit and we're gonna darken up our, um, let's darken up our diamonds a tad and get them all looking even. And then we'll put the gold in between. We'll get our gold around the rim and get our bunny down and do the, um, our Form Flex molds. I'm gonna show you how to do those. Just for the record, um, the owner of Formflex is one of our Czech Savvy sisters. She's a doll, we all love her. And um, I was uh, thrilled in promoting her product even before she was one of us. So that just shows you that it is one of those products that I stand behind, I love, and we support them always. 
Pam Klassen said she loves your teaching style. Oh, thank you, Pam. I appreciate that. Um, I don't think everybody does, but I always appreciate when you do. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I do try to explain everything and um, I think some people feel like I'm maybe chaotic because I'm talking so much, but I really do feel like there's so much I want to share with you guys every time I come on, whether it's, you know, my personal life or it's something important. We have Linda Mindenhall here, Hi, Patricia Linda. Dingler, Chris Kuhn. You know I love that name, Patricia Dingler, because my favorite thing in the whole world are all those little dingly balls that we get to play with all the time, which is so inappropriate right now. My mom's having a heart attack, but <laughs> they're asking if the clock face is on backwards. It's like your camera's not flipped, right? No, that's the whole way they are. You guys, all of them, all of the Alice in Wonderlands are backwards. Do you backwards. see? Because my camera's right, but they always do the numbers backwards. Look, always. So, no, that's, it's, it's absolutely the way it's supposed to be, but I hear what you're saying, yeah. So, isn't that funny? Yeah. It's Wonderland. But it's part of, it's Wonderland. Yeah, we're all mad here, remember that? So, I'm just gonna clean up some of these real quick. Gail Crank says you're her favorite crafter. Oh my gosh, Gail, you're my favorite follower, <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Don't tell the other 400 people watching. <laughs> Uh, okay, you guys, you know with the diamonds, once we get the um, the gold, you know, our little, the, the balls in between, it's gonna make all the difference. And when you have a stencil, I try and, um, I teach a lot of the stenciling stuff, how to turn a stencil into like real life. Um, so it looks like it's hand painted. That's what we're doing here. I don't care for that stenciled look. Some people do, but I don't. So that's the only reason I'm gonna clean it all up real quick so that um, I want this a lot cleaner. What do, you, uh, do you, a lot of you guys like that stenciled look? It, for some reason, it reminds me of back in the day when we were stenciling, um, do you remember when we were doing ducks and country houses and all that kind of stuff? And I, that's how I started my faux finish business was doing stencils. We have Vina Nicholson. Vina. Nina, okay, thank Vina. you. Vina, I think it's Vina, yeah. Roxy Woodcock. Hi, Roxy. Um, let's see, Christina Turner. Yes. And cool. Diane Booth. Welcome, you guys. Um, Thanks for being here. We have Denny Fender from Colorado. Hi, Denny. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, so, you guys, tonight again, the Sparkle Six, we're on tonight at 7 p.m. Central. And we're going to be on, uh, you can find us on my page right here. And you can also find us on Kathy D. Domenico's Royal Funky Junk page. Uh, normally we're on Creating with Chris Hunter's page, but uh, tonight we'll be on Kathy's page. And I also believe it will be shared to the Sparkle Room. So you should be able to find us somewhere. And um, tonight's theme is garden. And so uh, I'm going to be doing um, a set of bird wind chimes that are really, really cool. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Everybody's doing something uh, fun and special. So we kind of all do the same theme and we just talk while we're, while we're all crafting and then you can watch us all crafting at the same time. Unfortunately, because it's a Zoom, the picture's tiny, but um, you just gotta kind of go with it because it's just fun. Carol Goins uh, commented, people are asking on other craft sites, who is the check line lady? <laughs> And do you guys all jump in, I hope, and say, that that nut job? Yes, we know her. We um, follow her. Yeah, so I love it. Tony was just telling me that she, um, last time we were live, she saw a name that she recognized, and it ended up being somebody she knew from another state and had no idea that they were both following me. So that's fun. Oh, I said, hello, Miss Donna Mills. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's only on a good hair day, you guys. You know that. But um, so this to me is one of the critical things is to just look how look how quick just get it all looking nice and uniform. Um, oh, they're loving it. Oh, good. Gloria Harris says she learns something new every time she watches you. Well, I do too, Gloria. It's usually <laughs> some other mistake I've made, but I swear 
that is how you all learn and I always say I'll spend my money to figure stuff out so that when you guys do it you know what you're doing and I don't mind um, being the guinea pig for a lot of this stuff okay so cute 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 all right so let's do um, Let's get our gold on because I'm having a hard time. I really have a hard time when I can't really see. Um, like right now, all that little mess is in there and it messes me up. So let me get this dry a little bit. We'll go back and re-hit some of the spaces we need to. Yeah, Stella Kelly from Alabama. So happy she found you. Hi, Stella. I'm happy you found me too. Laura Z. Right. Jess, if you always paint over after you stencil. Yes, always. Um, would you do me a favor? Yes. <laughs> this is what I do to my mom, and this is where she I, ro I rolls all the time. On my kitchen counter mm -hmm. is a stencil and a canvas. Okay. So um, if you'll bring that. Sorry. I just saw that spot. I missed you guys. I can't believe one of you hadn't told me yet, because usually you're, you guys are all over it. Okay. So let's do the gold inside, and I'm gonna use a um, plaid liquid leaf. What do you do when the tips, uh, the checks of the diamonds don't touch? They're going to, because I'm gonna put the, uh, we're gonna do a gold, um, you know, dot in between each one. Okay, so this is something we're doing in our membership group on Monday. So if you're my membership group, this is what we're doing Monday. I'm gonna show you how to take any stencil, and we're also gonna do a rooster on Monday. We're doing a girl, we're doing a rooster. So I'm gonna show you how to take a stencil like this. Now I got this on Amazon, just any regular old stencil, okay? So if you were to stencil this down, it would look exactly like that with all of the, these are called bridges, and you know, that would just have all these blank spaces. So I'm gonna show you how to take that and turn it into this and have like a hand painted, uh, a hand painted look. So that's what we're doing Monday in our membership group and we're also going to do a rooster. So um, yes, I am big on, uh, stenciling is so fabulous to give you the uh, courage you need to start learning how to hand paint. And um, that's absolutely how I started. That's good to know. Yep. Absolutely how I started. Okay, so Liquid Leaf, if you're not familiar, is amazing. Um, it's it's uh, oil-based, so you cannot put it in water. It won't clean up in water. You have to put it in, um, I clean mine in vegetable oil, and then, um, so I, I have them sitting, all my little gold brushes over here sitting in vegetable oil. And then I um, like wash them off in really well with a paper towel. And then I give them one more coat of cleaning with Dawn dish soap, which is amazing. Okay, so here we go. Let's get in this gold, because you know this is gonna make all the difference right here when we get this in. Rhonda Ritchie asked when you're going to do the big egg. The big egg? Well, <laughs> it's been a point of contention because um, not everybody has it, so to do it as a whole like uh, tutorial um, is probably not gonna happen, but I was thinking about doing it just as a video. Oh, I told Tony to turn hers off, and I didn't, her, my do not disturb. So I will do a tutorial on it, but it will most likely be um, a video tutorial as opposed to a uh, like actual where we all spend a couple hours working on something Someone tutorial. Said there's a small spot by the nine. A small spot by the nine. Okay, let's get over there and then I'll look at that. We have Misty can you see already? Buffalo. Hi, Misty. Already it's starting to really clean everything up. And then I'm going to add gold to the bunny to. Um, Pretty much everything is going to get gold and it's all going to pull together beautifully. But I was just thrilled that everything I'm using today is available. Well, it was. And it was, <laughs> it was an hour ago. So we'll see if it still is, but it was an hour ago. And when are you going to do the bunny with the glasses? The bunny with the glasses is tomorrow. The bunny with the glasses I'm doing tomorrow at... Um, Let's see, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time, I'm in an event called uh, March into Spring. Is that right? Yes, 
Tomorrow I'm in an event called March into Spring at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And so I will be doing the bunny with the glasses then. And at noon Eastern tomorrow, this is a busy weekend for me, noon Eastern tomorrow, you, and these are all gonna be right here on studio. Um, you don't wanna miss tomorrow morning. It's nine o'clock my time, noon Eastern. I am going to paint a shoe and I'm going to turn it into a little Chanel shoe. So you guys know, we just do crazy stuff. But um, we've done those before. You can use them as, uh, you can use them for, to put flowers in, or you can put wine bottles in them. So um, they're really fun. They're so fun to make. And all I do, I'll show you, Tony can show you the shoe. All I do is buy the shoe at, um, I buy a, a large shoe, so this is a nine and a half, and I buy it at Goodwill, and then I paint it. So this has all just been base coated in a chalk paint, a white chalk paint to start with. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. We're gonna turn it into a darling little Chanel shoe. Very so cute. don't miss that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm on, you're, you guys, if, you're, if you watch, you're gonna be so sick of me by the end of the weekend, because it's a lot. It's a lot even for me. And I'm bringing the gold down a little bit just because um, I need to make sure that it's going to be even all the way around, or at least give the illusion that it is. Can you believe the difference when you start cleaning it up? And wait till we get the gold dots in between. Isn't the, is this um, summer, week, is this um, winter's over this week? Yeah, Sunday is spring. Sunday is the official spring. Oh my gosh, I bet those of you in other parts of the world are so thrilled. We have had, I think, one of the best winters we've ever had. It's just been beautiful here. We just needed a little more rain. We did need more rain, that is for sure. And Tony just lives um, not far from me at all. How far? 10 minutes? Um, yeah, five minutes away. Oh gosh. Actually, that, two miles, so that's amazing. I could walk here. That is so good. Oh my gosh. I cannot, but can you believe, Tony, what a difference it makes just it by seeing really it in does. person? It now does. you're just like, oh, okay. It looks now like I a real see. Clock. It does. Now I see where she's going with it. We have Joyce Seifert here. Hi, Joyce. Oh, Joyce Highland asked if we're playing music. Oh my Alexa. gosh. Alexa, off. We were. And I, <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on with me today. Mary I Swinger's here. Always turn it off. Hi, Mary. <laughs> I always turn that off because I always have her on to tell me what time it is. And uh, then I turn her off right before I go live. Moy, I, I always say I have great uh, eyeballs, but somebody has great eardrums because I can't believe you heard that. I didn't even notice it. Did you? It was just blending in. It's I background know. music. It's so funny. Uh, Elizabeth Schutte says, I can't find Alice in Wonderland items on your Amazon list. That's because you printed right because off the internet, right? Because they're not. And I don't have stuff like that on my internet list. I did the links. All the links are up above in the description. Everything is so, if you look above, um, you know, where the description of what I'm doing today is, every single link, like this, um, the only thing that's not on there is this paper, because I just printed it off the internet myself, and you can do the same exact thing. Now they want to know what station you had on. Oh my gosh. Do you guys know what I listen to? I always listen to Diana Krall. I have her on oh, all good. day long. And I don't know, for those of you who are probably younger, you have no idea who she is. But um, she just does really nice, um, uh, it's a little bit of, a little jazzy, little like rhythm, rhythm and blues. Just easy, easy listening. Okay, look how darling that is turning out. We're gonna do all the edge in it also. But first I want to, I'm just gonna set that down for a second. I need to give, there's a little spot here. Karen Rick says, I wish you were on 24 hours a day. Oh my gosh, Karen, <laughs> you're so funny. Uh, I, I have enough projects to be on 24 seven, I'll tell you that. And if you don't- Is that what everybody was talking them. about or are I they talking so. about this thing right here? Cause that's right by the nine, I have a feeling. It would be so little if it, it is, but you see. It's supposed to be. You're right, that, and I probably need one here. 
even if it's little, get it in there, because obviously if you guys can see it, everybody else will too. I'm not happy with this, but you know, we're gonna put something over it. So if you're just coming on and you saw that and you go, oh, apparently she doesn't see that hot mess up there on top. I see it, I see it. Um, okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this liquid leaf, and you just do a little bit at a time, you guys, because it's very runny. I'm gonna do a little bit of that in my, um, let me get organized over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it in my, the uh, lid of my liquid leaf, okay? I'm going to use the regular eraser. The bottom of an eraser is the perfect size in between these diamonds. So I'm gonna tap in my lid, but I'm gonna tap it on my plate one time, or on my uh, towel one time, because it's so runny, I don't want it to run. So what I do is get the bulk of it off on my, and you could tap it on a plate, or anything, but make sure you tap it first because otherwise it gets runny. And then you won't believe the difference this is going to make on our project. Vanessa Barlow's here. She's been Hi, outside. Vanessa. It's 71 degrees in Massachusetts. Oh my gosh. Sounds like you have an early spring. Good job, yeah. Okay, so already look at the difference. Where am I? There, can you even see that? Why can't I see that? I think that's right, is it? Yeah. You guys, this is why we never put our cameras backwards. <laughs> it is such a, it's such a nightmare. We have Renee McConnell here. She wants to know what you did before becoming a crafter. She loves your creativity. Oh, thank you. I used to have a faux finish in a mural business. And I've said this before, that's how I started was um, stenciling the old stuff. And I had a lady from Norman, Oklahoma, ask me if I would come do murals. She was very country. Do murals in um, every single room in her huge, gorgeous home. So um, I bid it and I went and moved in with them for six weeks. I was married at the time, but I went and moved in with them for six weeks because my husband had lost his job and we desperately needed money. So I thought, you know, yeah, I need, we, you know, you do what you gotta do and that's what I needed to do. But here's the thing, I was using stencils and everything took me seven times as long because I didn't really know how to freehand yet. I didn't have enough confidence to do my own freehand. So I was using stencils for everything and I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed that I was doing that because she was having some portraits done of her grandkids and she had a, like a, a real artist come over and do that. So while she's like really doing artwork, I'm over here stenciling and taping and just, I just was, honestly, I was really embarrassed. So I started praying that day. I was like, all right, Lord, I need to, I need to really figure this out. I need to figure out how am I gonna do you know, freehand work because I was starting to get a lot of mural business. And I started by using my stencils for the, for the background. And then I started freehanding in the stencils, all the designs in the stencils. So I used the stencils for the shape and then started teaching myself how to do the rest. So that's why I am so big on using stencils for a, like a vehicle to get better at doing freehand because it works. Okay, they're asking, is it okay to paint the dots before the clear coat? Yes, do a absolutely. Great question, because here's the thing. These are just tiny little dots. When you run into issues, because a lot of times if you do a clear coat over the liquid leaf, and the clear coats we use are um, like a triple thick and a Duraclear, sometimes it turns the gold a funky green, not a beautiful patina green, but a funky, awful green, if you are doing a huge section of gold. So I've always taught that, you know, just don't ever do that ahead of time. But in this case, yes, it's okay. Anytime you're doing just a small little space, it is okay. All right, what are we gonna do here, you guys? This is, um, all I know is that we're gonna cover this up, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but I do have to put one right there just in case. And Latanya Harris asked Hi, if Tanya. you still have you your TV show. Um, <laughs> Uh, and we say TV show loosely. Um, I, 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 it's still there, but I haven't done anything with it lately at all because, um, 
you know, it's, I'm so busy just trying to run my membership and this part of my life that um, when you do the TV, I need one more right up here, maybe, well, no, no it'll be right there. Uh, yeah. uh, when you are um, doing that TV stuff, everything is different. It takes new lighting, new microphones, uh, the different camera angles, uh, e everything's different. So, did you, do you think I got it all? I think so. Okay. Let me um, fix this down here. And then while we're doing, um, while this is drying, I'll just take a second. Let's start, let, oh, I can't wait to show you the molds. Um, okay, I know where you're looking at. It's this one right one. here. I know it's this. That one, but it's so close to the edge. It is close yeah. to the edge, but it's this right here that's bothering everybody, yeah. I know it. So we're just gonna, let's just put one big dot there. And I don't think it'll be as noticeable. This one by the nine. Oh, for crying out loud, you guys! We got that one. Is that it was? Pro oh, I see it. You're right. Gosh, talk about good eyeballs. This is why it takes a village to get across from ten. It takes a village to get me through any project. I think that was it. All right, I'll let Tony look this at it. One well, on the right. <laughs> Who's right though? Really? This one, we're still, that's our issue yeah. spot. All right, I'm gonna have Tony check it out and I'm going to keep going. So thank you, <laughs> that's so funny. There's a partial dot missing at six o'clock. Carol Loopy, six o'clock, partial, partial dot missing at six o'clock. So that's the only one that possibly, but yeah, it's on the it. edge, so. Yeah, I think it's because it's on the edge. Uh, okay, so no, this is exciting. If you're not familiar with um, FormFlex, I'm excited to share it with you today. Um, so it says we got it. All right, where is it? <laughs> Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here it is, okay. So here's what I have. So this is FormFlex. It is, you, you would, if you saw this, like when I first saw it, I said, oh, it's clay. Well, it's not really. It's an organic compound and it, it, it plays like clay but it's an organic compound and it's called Form Flex Compound. You can only buy it one place and it's on their website. There are no brokers or anybody that sells it. So if somebody tells you they're selling it, then they're not. So the only place you can find it is there. So here's what I did. I got this mold on um, Cherry on Top is the name of this company, Cherry on Top. So look at this darling mold. It's all Alice in Wonderland. It was only $14.99 and it's a fabulous mold. And so here's what you do. You take a, um, so you get your mold and the first thing you're gonna do is put a little bit of cornstarch in that space. And it just takes a little bit. This is way too much and so I'm going to like blow it out. But you just want a little cornstarch in there. That way your form flex doesn't, um, it doesn't stick to anything and not come off. Okay, and then I hope you're excited because this is so fun, you guys. This is something that everybody should be doing because there's so much you can make with this. Okay, so you see it looks like a clay material and it acts like a clay material, but it's all organic. So you're just going to kind of rub it in your hands, get it a little bit, you know, just like a snake. And then I'm going to just kind of lay it down into my mold. Can you see, where are we? Let me put it back here. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of press it in. And if, I, I, I imagine the owner's probably watching, the owner of Form Flex is probably watching right now and cringing. But um, I do this because I want everyone to see the average person can do this. I'm not, I'm not, you know, very good at this yet. You're getting lots of hearts. Oh, good, good, good. So you guys love Form Flex too. And then the Form Flex comes with a white card and um, when you get that card, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that was nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it's nice. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna press that compound down into your mold to make sure you're getting all of the right. Kathy Dean says you should have wore your Mad Hatter's hat today. I thought about it, Kathy, because I have it. I have it pulled, but okay. And then, so you push it down into the mold. I did that. And now you're going to take your, your um, your card at a 45 degree angle and wipe it off. And what that's going to do is just pull all of the, now it shouldn't be doing that. I, it's, I probably have too much cornstarch on it. But now look at what it's doing. 
and it, it gives you a perfect mold. And then I get the little shadowy stuff. I kind of push that around. I got that pulled back a little bit, so I'm just gonna push that up. Okay, so now you've got your mold and you can see it's in there. And you're gonna put this in your freezer for 20 minutes, that's all. Put it in your freezer for 20 minutes and look what you get. Isn't that incredible? So you put it in your freezer for 20 minutes and I, I decided I'd wait and pop these out with you. Now this one, we're not gonna pop out because I'm gonna have to freeze that, but look at this. So you just kind of move your mold around so that you can let gravity do its course. Here's a, um, here's a little bitty one. Here is another Alice. I'm gonna do that one last because I have one already done. So like I said, the key is to kind of pull your mold back a little bit so you let gravity kind of help pull it out. Look at these. Is that incredible? Davida Lane asked where the mold came from again. The mold came from Cherry on Top and the link is up above and it was $14.99. And like I said, an hour ago they were still there. So we'll see. Um, look at this little pocket watch. You guys, these, it's just unbelievable what you can do. This is where we do like all of our trims and um, I do incredible picture frames with these. So let's do, um, let's do this guy. Elaine but, McLean came on and said, how appropriate to be late for this important That's day. right. Okay, so again, I'm kind of just pushing oh. it back. And when, I, when I'm done with the molds, or I mean, when I just want to store them, because you, generally you're going to want to make a bunch ahead of time, then, oh, his ears, that was my fault. I just popped his ears off. I'll put them right back on, and then you're going to see how easy it is. So, watch this. His little ears came off, but it because it's like a clay-like substance, you can get them right back on. So there's a little bunny. Um, look at this guy. So you just want to be careful. And these are really inexpensive molds. The silicone molds that you can buy on Amazon and everywhere else are, are much nicer and much easier to work with. But for an inexpensive mold, this one is amazing. I'm having a hard time because that one's so big. Sarah Witten asked, how does Formflex compare to resin? Um, I, don't, I, I don't care for resin. I'm just gonna say it out loud, I don't. I don't care for resin. It doesn't move once you get it. Like this, I could form this if I was gonna put this, let's say on a bowl, I could form this around the bowl. Um, the whole point is called Formflex. Okay, so look at him. So anyway, so you get the picture. You can do all of this with the molds, with the form flex and with a mold. But I want you to see, so here's Alice. So I'm just gonna pop her out. This is a smaller version of what we're using, but the detail is insane on her. So I took that and then guess what I did? I just took regular acrylic paint, and I painted her. So this is her. Come on, you guys, where's those hearts? You know this is so impressive. Um, I Look it, that's it. So you just paint it, and it's darling. Now in this case, because she's gonna be just hanging on this plate, I added, thanks to Tony and her suggestion, I added a little stick just to make sure she stays upright because they are it's flexible, and I don't want her to be flexible on this one. I want her to stay upright. And then I seal, oh, oh no. that's my fault because I took her foot, I had her foot, not my, the whole thing. So that'll go on our blooper reel for sure. Uh, Mimi Kelly said, mentioned that even after this is completely cured and you've kept it for a month or whatever, you can still bend it. Yes, yes, there's so much you can do with this. Plastic I'm gonna have to put her feet on separate. Soft. So anyway, you guys get the picture. That's Form Lots Flex. Make sure you go buy Formflex. It is the coolest stuff ever. Um, there is a silicone mold. Hold on, I'm gonna grab it. because I just want you to see the difference in quality of molds. And what you can do, this is, um, these are by, these are amazing. These are by uh, Prima. These, they're some of the best. Like these are silicone molds. 
and everything pops out beautifully out of these. And look at that, I love this one. This is a picture frame. I did a big um, a bunny with this picture frame over top of him and it was gorgeous. So just Prima silicone molds all over Amazon. Um, this is another one I'm gonna show you because I did, I did a project with this one and it turned out so cute and I have him right here. So here's this mold. It's called the hair, it's a uh, meadow hair. So look, it's so adorable. Look at that. And then here's what it looks like, because I already did one. Do you still have to put cornstarch in the silicone molds? Yes. And then look how they turn out. They're amazing. And then you just paint it, you can adorable. antique it, you can do whatever you want with it, and then you just glue it down. And so I am, um, I am all about the molds right now. I love them, but I love them because of Formflex. So Formflex is, uh, I, th I think it's $17 right now, 17 uh, plus shipping, and you get this bag. And let me just tell you, that bag lasts forever. I, I could do so many projects with one bag. So give it a try. Go to formflexcompound.com and just give it a try. So, okay, now let's take our Wonderland and let's gold uh, paint this. And that's what's going to sit on the bottom. So I hope you love that little quick lesson in the form flex. It's different than clay. I don't, uh, I don't care for the clay. I love this. And when you store it, um, I store mine um, with it, it, the advice of the owner, um, Tammy Yaw of form flex. I store it in um, a, like a, a Rubbermaid uh, seal tight container in between parchment paper and it just stays really nice. Rose Miller asked, have you tried latex acrylic caulking in molds? It dries fast and it's flexible. No, I've never even heard of that. I saw that the other day, I wanna you try did? it. You did? Yeah. I have never heard of that. Thank you for saying that because I will, you know I always wanna try everything that's out there. But, um, I mean you guys, isn't this insane? Look at that. So cute. So, um, Boy, talk about taking all your projects up 10 notches. That's what this does. So we're gonna get this on and let this sit for a minute. And Kathy has asked, do they ever get hard? Um, I mean, I think the question would be like, are they, if you put it on a piece of furniture, is it going to um, like push in if somebody pushes up against it? I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that because I haven't done it on a piece of furniture, but no, they do. Eventually they will dry. They will dry unless you have them in, um, you know, in a container, but yeah, they, they dry. So isn't that so beautiful? And now we're going to just glue that right here on the bottom. So I love that, but I want it to dry just for a second. Uh, what else are we going to do? Okay. Let's do the pocket watch because I think the pocket watch should go up there too. I think the pocket watch is what's gonna help us hide our, our issues. You know, that spot that Tony messed up, that spot right there. Blame it on me. I'm not, I'm not a professional like you. Well, you are a perfectionist though. I remember watching you at Pinner's conference and I thought, oh my gosh, your checks are perfect. I had a good teacher. Oh. Okay, so I, I mean, it just changes everything and it gets in every spot and then it just pulls out all the detail. Is that crazy? And I can make hundreds of them. And if you go on Etsy, you'll see people are doing that. They're making molds and just selling the molds. Oh, I love this gold paint. The gold paint is uh, malleable, not wet. Misty, uh, uh, malleable, not wet. Now, maybe you should take it down to a word I understand. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're saying, but I'm sure everybody else is sure. All right, let's hit it with some, uh, I wanna make sure that we don't have any, I wanna make sure all the gold dots are completely dry. <laughs> you guys know, I'm a hot mess. Okay, so even though there's a number of components to this project, it's like I pretty much had everything ready. So the next thing I wanna show you is our sweet little uh, guy. And I'm gonna use him instead of this one today because this was my, my plan. But before I do that, I wanna add a little bit of 
antiquing to it because I don't want it to look this white. I, I need it to tone down a little bit. So I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Ink instead of a uh, like a um, antique glaze because I don't want that much distressing. I just want a little bit, so watch this. All I'm gonna do is dip in here and I'm going, do you see what is happening? I'm just adding a little bit of, you know, basically like dirt to it just to get it to not be so, I don't want it to look like it's brand new. And then I'm gonna do a little bit, same thing on these edges. Again, I, know, I, I want this to look like we've been, we've had it for a while. Can you see the difference? Isn't that fun? And then I'll still go back and do all the sides in the gold because I think that's what it needs. Nina asked, but, what's the secret to, oops, I lost her. Being so clever, uh, Nina? Wow. Get the top um, off your liquid gold. Mine always gets stuck. It does, mine does too. And I have uh, literally right here in front of Tony, I have probably eight bottles I can't get off. But here's what I've learned. I can use my heat gun and you know, kind of keep the heat on it. You can run it under hot water. Um, I don't recommend banging it on the floor because I did that once and broke the bottle. So uh, you gotta be careful with you it. You could put a little Vaseline around that. Around yes, it. No. I do. And here's what's funny. I have Vaseline here because somebody told me that a long time ago. Now look at that. Now we're already starting to make it look like, oh, okay, I see what she's doing. So I'm just gonna do a little bit right around the uh, edge. And um, this could not be easier, you guys. So this is always my trick and my go-to for any time I want uh, antiquing, but not major antiquing, just a little bit of antiquing. Jane Keel says, I suggested latex cocks a couple of, cock, a whip, I'm sorry. Cock? Talk, cock, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Because we can't get Form Flex in England. It works really oh, well. Oh, you can't. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, but I'm, I'm super excited about how that this is good. turning out so far. Okay, so then I've got my, let's uh, get the lid on this, wherever that, here it is. Most of the time I watch back and you guys are, I, I see the comments of you guys going, get the lid on, get the lid on that. You need to put the lid on that. And I'm like, all right, get off my back. Okay, this is such a simple, um, such a simple gel stain. This is by, um, this is Deco Art Americana, and it is a translucent walnut stain. So if you don't wanna go and get a huge thing of stain, this is a good option. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my plate, and I buy it at Hobby Lobby, it's $2.99. Sometimes you can find it on sale. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for all, all, all those. Lots and lots of stars. stars. I am so, so grateful. Okay, so I want to add. Was that a sponge you used with your ink pad? Was, was it a, a sponge? Yes, it's a little sponge dauber. And those are also in the same section the t with Tim Holtz, little sponge daubers. Okay, so what I want to do, I, I, do, I want this really watery so I can wipe it right back off. So make sure you've got everything ready. You could use a baby wipe, but I'm going to just use a little paper towel. They're loving it. Oh, I'm so glad. Lots and lots of parts. So, so glad. Okay, so I'm just dipping it in, and you know what, it doesn't even matter. I'm dipping it in my dirty water, my, my brush, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this. Uh, can you see me? I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this glaze and watch. So let's just get it on him. Now the thing with glaze, any type of glaze, my friends, you have to work fast. So you don't do the whole thing, you just do a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna get that on there, and now I'm gonna wipe it all back off, because I just want a touch of that to make it look not so bright. And it's going to get in the crevices, and it's just going to make him pop a little bit nicer. So I've still got a little bit of water on that brush. I'm gonna to have to go back in and get more water in a second. And then wipe off. <laughs> Everybody's busy shopping. I know, I knew you guys would do that. <laughs> Davida just but ordered But you see, for I just want him, so he came dark like that and he was ugly. So I painted him over white and now you see, I'm just, I'm just adding a little bit of interest to him back on him, that's all. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to paint him like a uh, rabbit or anything. I just want some interest in antiquing on him. 
Judy Noel says adorable and cute. Oh, good. Thank you, Judy. So everything I do every day, you guys know, you can do this. I, there's nothing I do that I don't think you can do. But look at how much cuter he looks. All those little details popping out. Um, I don't I don't let anything stand on its own. I redo almost everything I ever buy because I know that I, I can probably make it a little bit cuter. So the key is to work fast. Get a little bit on at a time, go to your section. But like I said, I make sure I've got water uh, along with it because it, it can glump up really fast if you don't. Faye Gafford is here. Hi, Faye. So glad she caught you again. Oh, I'm so glad you did too. Okay, so we've got him done. All right, love of that. Let's do his ears. And then we're going to add gold inside of his ears. And that's what's going to start pulling everything together. Can you believe we're at the end, you guys? We're going to be, um, we're going to be doing, starting our embellishment soon, which is my favorite thing. Kathy Dean says Salem would love to have this in her room. I bet she would. Okay, so again, same thing. Just get some... Uh, get a little bit on with some water. Uh, yeah, just easy peasy. You want to tell them again where you got your bunny that you're working on? Yes. Okay, so this bunny is so darling. I actually bought him on Amazon, but I went to Amazon today to, to get a link for you guys, and they are all gone. They're, they're, the page isn't even there anymore. So here's what I did. I looked up. It's called Frankie the Stag, and um, the stag is a deer, and he's amazing, and he has a pipe, and he has big glasses, and I bought him today, too. So I looked up Frankie the Stag, because I knew it's the same maker for the hair, and um, the, the, this guy came up. So they're at Wish. They're on Wish.com. Now, if you know anything about Wish, you know that it's overseas, and you're, you'll, you will pay a lot in shipping but their prices are very inexpensive. It was only like $21 on Wish. And then I found it in the United States on a place called, I think it's DC Store or something like that. The link is up above. And it was actually $41.95, but I was able to get the bunny and the stag, which um, you'll when you see the stag, you're gonna love the stag. Uh, I was able to get both of them, but they were $41.95 each. So they're expensive. That's why I gave you the other option of using this little guy from uh, Hobby Lobby. You can also, I Googled um, rabbit wall mount head, like rabbit head wall mount, and got a ton of them. So, um, you know, if you don't wanna spend that kind of money, and I don't blame you, then just Google wall mount like bunny head. And, and I promise you'll see a bunch, because I that's why I didn't uh, write all of them down, because there was too many of them. Vicki Nance asked, so is the gel too dark without the water? Yes. Uh, in my opinion, yes, because I don't like it that dark. But um, in somebody else's opinion, maybe not. But yes, in mine, it is. So let me, I want to get his monocle and his chain all done in gold because um, I want him to just be pristine. Uh, so, and that's what I love about this gold. You can do anything with it. Lee Gerloff is asking if there's somewhere you can see the picture of the Louis Vuitton case or suitcase that you did. Um, she just got her stencil today. You did? I can have Tony go grab it. Let's see. Um, this is why my mom rolls her eyes all the time. I'm trying to think where it is, though. I think it's in um, my guest room closet. Okay. I'm almost positive it's in there. Sorry, Tony. No problem. <laughs> right now, my mom's laughing, you I know. Roll. Yeah, no, I guarantee you my mom's laughing because right now my mom's like, yep, that's what happens. But as long as I've got it, I'd rather show you the real thing than a picture. And uh, let me just tell you, it's really cool. I love it. I'm hoping it's in there. I'm redoing my whole uh, guest room and turning it into an, a major craft room where I'll be um, doing a lot of recording from. And so I've kind of got everything all over the place right now. I think where else it would be if it's not there. Okay, look at the difference by turning that into gold instead of 
kind of that funky color that it was before. Big difference. She must be having a hard time finding it. Anyway, look at that. So now it just really cleaned that up a lot. And now when I do the inside of these, this is where it's going to be a game changer. Did you find it? I did. Oh, she found it, good. Okay, look at the difference. I gotta clean that up. If you'll show that. Yes. So you guys, I have a Louis Vuitton stencil, back to stencils, <laughs> and I had this little, it's a, a, a Merle Norman, I think, an old Merle Norman uh, makeup case, and I just, it was already, it was already this color, this uh, camel color, so all I did was I took a little Louis Vuitton stencil that I have, and I just stenciled the whole thing, and now I have a little Louis Vuitton case. Is that darling? You can do this. So tomorrow I'm using a Chanel stencil to make Chanel shoes. So um, you guys, there's fun stuff out there. You just gotta find it and, and do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Happy about this. So then we put him on. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use one of my new favorite glues in the whole world. This is called Stick Fast. And um, so I'm gonna use this to put him on. Now, you could also screw him on because this is wood. I'm not going to because I don't have, um, you know, I don't have all the tools and everything I need to do that with today. But um, I'm gonna do a little bit of stick fast. This is like super glue, you guys. It's like a super glue. Uh, so I'm just gonna get some on it. But I'm gonna also hit it with hot glue in a few spots because the hot glue will give it the temporary mount and the stick fast will be my permanent mount over time. So let me make sure I get this down right. Nora Wells asks, will you be doing your lives from your new craft room? I will be doing a lot of them from my new craft room because I can't wait for you all to see it. It's going to be spectacular. I bought, um, I got all the furniture ordered yesterday and it will all start arriving um, uh, early next week. Okay, so then let's get Oh gosh, look at how fast that stuck. I didn't even have a chance to get his ears on yet. Oh crap. All right, hold on you guys. I'm gonna have to pull him up. Oh, just, I, when I told you it stuck, I, I never even believed myself that it was gonna stick that good. Oh, no. oh my gosh. I mean, that sucker is down. Mm. Do as I say, not as I do, every single time. Oh my gosh, he is, um, I mean, he's down. So here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to cut off, which I'm gonna do. I have a saw, I'm gonna cut off this part of his ear and just glue his ears down because I don't have any other choice at this point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got one. Let me break it. Okay, I got one in. So now at least you can see that part. Oh my gosh, you guys, keep that in mind. Oh, I, I did it, I Good got job. him. Okay, he's in there. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that scared me. All right, look at that. He's, let me see, straight. Okay, oh, that really scared me because I was just so, I was gonna be so sad about that. Um, okay, so I need to glue those down, but I'm scared to death to do anything with it right now. And um, look what else I have. I ordered a bunch of these crowns. Now these came from a lady on Etsy. And <laughs> are you guys, I swear, people, will, they'll private message me and go, I never breathe when you're crafting. The whole time, I'm so stressed out the whole time. It's not Nikki relaxing. Nikki says blooper time. I know, always, every, everything is. But come on, how darling is that? So, okay, uh, th there's a lady on Etsy, she's called Blingy, uh, Blingy Thingy. That's, that's her name, Blingy, uh, B-L-I-N-G-E-E, -E, Thingy, you know, T-H-I-N-G-E-E, -E, Blingy Thingy, mm -hmm. and she's got all these darling little rhinestone crowns. So um, check her out and look at what that's gonna do. That's gonna go ahead and hide um, where those uh, aren't all the way down. Donna Kemp says us Arizonans Donna Kemp. need Hi, a, in person. Yes, I know. A lot of people are asking for that. Oh my Already. gosh. 
We're Donna, ready, I we? miss you. Okay, let's we get that We miss our in-person classes. Okay, you guys, come on. Never stop. Never, never, never stop. <laughs> Always keep going. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? So let's get our Allison down. And I think she needs to be just kind of looking up at him. And we got to get her here so that we can get her feet on. Um, and then I'm going to seal it afterwards because, um, because I'm live. If I seal it first and then I try to glue, nothing's going to stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue for the purposes of my TV show. And then I will go back and seal everything just for the record. And you saw I added a little stick on the back just for good measure. Um, I need to get her feet on here, so I'm gonna put her right there. Okay, then we get, let's get her feet on. Karen says, you are so creative, I would never dream of this project on my own. Oh, you probably would if you were yeah. up every night all night like <laughs> I am. But that is what I do, I just start, I mean, I, I, I start with one thing, like I saw this mold, and I thought, oh, I could do something really cute with that. And then I order the bunny, and then I just, then I start going from there. Kimberly White suggests painting the eyes black on the rabbit. You know what? I was just going to ask you guys, what, uh, black or gold? Black or gold? And should I rub a little bit of gold on his mustache? I feel like I should. So, all right, we've got her down. Oh, my gosh. Amy Jett says, I'm just hanging on for dear life. It's oh, I know. It's always a crazy ride. It is. It's a crazy ride every single time. Now we know. You guys, stick fast, uh, seriously, it, it works. This is going to be my favorite thing right here. Mm. Where are you getting your slick fast stick glue? Um, stick fast, uh, you can buy it on Amazon, sometimes Walmart has it, and it's uh, stick fast, and I use medium, a lot of people use thick, so whatever you like. Oh my gosh, you guys, Diane see what I mean? You rocked it again, Master Look at Crab. that, look how cute. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, then we need to, um, we've almost, uh, if I'd just gotten his ear a little turned a little bit right there, I could have covered that up. But I don't want to overdo this. Ha, huh, I overdo everything. Um, I don't know if we, <laughs> see, if I do that, I feel like it's just going to be too much. Um, and then it's all over on that side. Sharon Halverson Does says it, it happens to all of us. I know. We just don't have an audience. That's true. That is very true. Okay. Does it need this pocket watch or is it like, all right, knock it off. It's enough. What do you guys think? Uh, you have no imagination for crafts. Um, it is so cute, Barbara. Thank you. You just bought some stick fast from Amazon. Yeah, you'll be thrilled. But remember, if you get it on your fingers, my mom and I both found, I, I don't have any feel in my fingers for two days. You know how that is? And you're like, Ur. it drives you insane to get super glue on your fingers. So that's what happens with that. They're voting mostly for black eyes. Black and eyes? Gold, and a gold mustache. Got it. Okay, let's do that. And then um, let's put some ribbon trim. And let me know what, what you guys think about the pocket watch, if it's too much or if it helps balance everything. Because I'm having a hard time telling. Let me get, and I'm using a teeny tiny um, detail brush for his eyeballs, you guys. Just teeny tiny. And Kimberly oh, Wolf, yes, Wolf this was the way to go. Diamond dust on the outside. Diamond dust on the outside, okay. I do have a um, blingy trim for around here if you guys think it needs it. Oh, oh Cheryl my gosh. Witzel suggested a cheap pocket watch. Oh, like a real thing? Yeah. That's a cute idea. That'd be cute. So not having all this, you know, Chotsky stuff on here. That's a cute idea. They like the pocket watch idea. Pocket watch for balance. Okay. Pocket watch for the win, you guys. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I like that so much. Uh-oh. No, because I didn't have it down yet. Uh, I like that. All right. Well, the last thing we want to do with those eyes, though, you do know, let's get a, um, you've got to get a twinkle. We've got to get a twinkle in his eye. So I'm going to use the same brush that I just made his eyes with. And I'm going to dip in, and I just want a little touch. And I'm going to go to the corner, the top corner of his eye. Can you see? And I'm just going to do one dot. And look at what that does. It's, um, it just makes it like, I don't know, suddenly now he's just like a happy, a happy bunny. And I always say the bigger the sparkle, the happier he looks. I don't know if that's true. I just made it up, but I think it's true. I think it could be true. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. He is getting cuter by the second. Someone All right. suggested gold eyeliner. <laughs> okay, now you're getting crazy. All right, I do want some gold on that mustache and I have some on my brush. And so I'm just going to use it because I think it'll give it just that sparkle he needs. Um, nope, he needs more. I'm, he's gonna have to have more. Uh, you guys, every time I look up and see how many stars you have sent me today, I am so blown away and thrilled. Barb Stratton said, too much gold for the pocket watch. Put another color on the watch. Okay, I could. What else, what else would we do, you guys? Maybe black with gold. Um, just yes, gauge. see that just set his, look at how that just set his uh, mustache off. I love that. Um, okay, let me show you, put that lid on before somebody has a heart attack. Diamond dust his mustache. Yes, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. I love that idea. We will definitely do that. But let me know if you think, again, this is where I start, you know, and you go, no, it's too much. He's coming alive. He is. Isn't that crazy? I mean, obviously this has taken us an hour and a half to get him to this mm -hmm. point, but that was a lot of different, um, you know, there was so much going on in this thing. And I hope you uh, feel like you have learned some stuff. If nothing else, I hope you guys will all go over to FormFlex and order some of that and go online and order some molds and start playing with it. More stars. Oh, Lots thank you hearts. guys. Okay, so, oh, come on. Surely you say yes about this, right? Can you see that? Do we say yes? Look at the, um, the bling trim. Give me some hearts if you think we need the bling trim because I think we do. Okay, yeah, I think so. Oh, add a bow tie, that's cute. But he doesn't really have a, um, all right, hold on, let me cut more of this. Okay, you guys like the bling, I did too. Mm -hmm. It has to have it, um, we all knew it did. We all knew I was gonna do it no matter what, whether I do it on camera or off. Diamond um, dust the inside of his ears. Okay, I like that too. We will definitely do that next. Dark wax on the pocket watch, make it look aged. Uh, okay, that's a really good idea. Um, that's a really mm -hmm. good idea. So I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have Tony repaint that. Let's get it white again, and then we'll do that because I think that is a most fabulous okay. idea. And your hopefully your white is still good. Uh, I'm gonna use just because I can. I'm gonna use the hot glue, you guys. It's just quicker for right now. Um, oh my gosh! All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you. Look at, oh yeah, it has to have that trim. That is amazing. I still can't, I always wonder, uh, I have a sign on my desk that says, I wonder what normal people do every day. And I, I always do think about that because I am always, you know, I'm crafting 24 seven. Like right now, today, I've spent all day getting ready for not only this craft, but the next four crafts that I'm doing the rest of the weekend. And uh, so I'm, I'm never doing anything else, much to my family's chagrin, but. Well, they would know that you're sick if you're not doing something. That's true, because honestly, even if I wasn't crafting, I would be doing something. Because I've been trying to finish The Bachelor the last um, three nights, and I kept falling asleep. And so I thought, all right, last night, I'm gonna just sit there and watch it and finally get it over with, get the rip off the band-aid and get rid of the pain because, oh my gosh, what an awful season this has been. Um, and of course, like 10 minutes in, I fell asleep because the once I stop, then I'm, I'm done. Someone suggested a Rolex. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Love the bling. Yes, I do too, you guys. Awesome. It, it definitely made it. Um, and that's why I say, it's all these little doodahs that make all the difference. When Bridget says it is crooked, but I'm not sure what she's referring to. The ribbon, because I feel like it's crooked right down here. I've got one that got off track, if that's what you're talking about. But uh, if that bunny's crooked, uh, <laughs> he's not going, he's anywhere. Not going anywhere. He's He's on forever. It could be that trim right there, because he's not. Um, and when I put the sealer on him and make everything shiny, He's gonna be great. 
Sandy Land says, I love not normal people, LOL. Good, because that's exactly <laughs> where I'm at in my life. But I was trying to stay, one of my girlfriends is a commentator, literally, uh, for The Bachelor, and she's hysterical. And she's always posting like her take on everything and on all the people. And I've had to avoid her and Facebook on Facebook for the last few days because I was so, mm -hmm. so afraid I was gonna find out the finale. <laughs> Are you going to do a little pink on his nose? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I think we should. Uh, okay, I need to go around Alice. Get that a little bit more hit. Gosh, hot glue dries so stinking fast. Oh my gosh, already, look at this. How sweet is that? Oh, Linda oh, Bridges it. said it's the trim just a bit after where you started. It's the trim, yep, yeah, I know. I okay. see it, I totally see it too. And that's not a big deal because I will fix that when we get off and I will um, just repaint that gold part. So thank you, I noticed it too. And I was, I was just kind of praying, thanks a lot Linda, that nobody would notice. <laughs> but Isabel asked what you do with all of your projects. Um, I sell them in an auction. So we auction everything off um, probably about every couple months or every six weeks or so. And we do that in my membership group. It's one of, it's, it's just another perk to my membership group. Our membership group is only $25 a month, you guys. And you get everything. You get every class I do. And if you're not a membership, the classes are $39 or they're 25 and you get everything included plus every tutorial and every class I've taught since the beginning of our membership, which was a year ago. So uh, it's a smoking deal for 25 bucks a month. You get everything. And then you're always the first one that gets in on uh, everything else. Like all the, um, you know, anything I sell or anything that we do. Um, anytime I have my family, you know, usually with me, we do most of it on in our membership group. Okay, I'm just putting a little pink on my finger. And I'm gonna rub it on his nose. Oh yeah. Um, he suggested that his monocle needs to be closer to his eye. It's it's not an option. Oh. I agree. It's the way it was made. It doesn't move. I I hear ya. I would have loved that too. Let's give him a little rosy cheeks. Yeah, you guys, it's don't stop until you're just positive. There isn't one more thing you could possibly do to Jane make it Breaker better. Jane Breaker says she's doing Alice in Wonderland for Christmas this year. Oh, oh my gosh. I love it so much. Yes, once we get that, um, our little thing dry. Here, let me, um, let's see if we can get this dry real quick. I mean, come on, that's cute. Uh, I'm trying to decide if it needs a bow or anything. What I have I was gonna use this for tomorrow for my shoes but we could use it for this if it's better because I can make another one but look at this it might be too much <sighs> is that just too much or is that exactly what it needed I like the bow tie idea too bad we don't have a real bow tie because oh, I used it on something else see if I do it down there if I did a bow tie it would I could probably make one but I don't know, is this too much, you guys? Is this, cause then it loses the heart shape, doesn't it? I don't know. They're loving the project. Okay, let me know about the ribbon, cause I, <laughs> I put can. put the lid on your pink paint. You're right, you're right, for crying out loud, get off my bag. Okay, um, all right, let's get some. No bow. No bow, okay, all right, that's what I need to know. Cause you guys know, I'll, I'll keep going. Let's get yeah, some it antique. it's too much. Okay, all right, I hear you. Let's get some antiquing glaze on this and see what happens. Because I think this is the ticket. The gold just, um, you're right, it was just way too much. And again, I'm just using this really inexpensive uh, bottle of antiquing glaze from Hobby Lobby. Where's my thing? Are you guys all still hanging yes, out? You are. are. I've kept you all here. I'm shocked and thrilled. Yeah. It's unanimous. No bow, no ribbon. Uh, no bow, no ribbon. Okay, just we're going to do the pocket watch and then call it a day. I don't know. Do you guys still like it? 
Why does it not feel right? Does it feel right? Should I just hit the tips of it with some gold? No rhinestone bow on rabbit. No bow too much. Uh, okay, the numbers, you mean the, the cards? Can we do the, can we do the numbers oh, on the watch? we could. Don't the, cover up the heart shape, they said. Yeah, I agree. What about the cards? Let's, um, oh my gosh, you guys, you. this is turned into. <laughs> Black numbers on watch. Black numbers on watch. All right, let's try that. Oh, it, it takes a village, you guys know. It takes a total village every time. Uh, all right, let's, we're just gonna try it. I don't know if that's right or not, but let's see. And of course they're, Ro they're like Roman numerals or fake numerals, I don't know what they are. Pamela El Elliot says no watch. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. But what are we it's gonna do in place? Light. It's too light, it's something. What if I do the whole thing the in black and um, just rub it in gold? That could work. I think that's it. Come on, you guys, just a you few more minutes. Hang with me, <laughs> hang with me just a few more minutes. Yep, let's start with the black and then we're just gonna go over it with the gold and I think this is it. You guys know, yeah, I'm- It's a uh, pocket watch blends in, needs to stand out. Yep, and it, I think this, by doing it this way, it will, hopefully. Um, because usually when I do the black and then rub it, anything with the gold, it, it really does work great. Carolyn Martin says, this is so much fun. Oh, Carolyn, I'm so glad. Cause I get off and I immediately go have a glass of wine and sit down for 10 <laughs> seconds and just review my whole life story at this point. Melanie Rice says it's high end looking. It, it, that it is. And I am very happy about that. That it is. Okay, let's give it a little bit of heat. Cause this is really our last thing, except that we're gonna seal it and diamond dust it and call it a day. And I go live at five o'clock again, you guys, okay. so. Five o'clock with a whole nother project. You're so probably gonna have time for welcome. that glass of wine. You're welcome. Uh, let me get my gold rub and buff. Brenda says yes to the black with the gold. Yep, I think this is it. Now I'm gonna use the, the uh, antique gold uh, rub and buff. It's like a wax. And you just you put it on with your finger and you just rub it on. And it just hits all of your highlighted areas. Oh yeah, look at this. Do you see this, you guys? Yeah. Gold on the outside of the clock. Okay, let's do it. I can do it with rubber. buff. See how cute that is? Where are you? Look at that. That's what it needed. Uh, that's for sure what it needed. Let's give it a little action all the way around. More like a, um, more like a distressed gold than a solid gold. Oh, Joyce Jesco just joined us. Hi, Joyce. Look who's here, Joyce. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. Okay, so that I do like, you guys. That was it. Claudia so. Barrett suggests Hi, Claudia. IV wine drip time. I IV wine drip for sure, and I think we all need it. Um, now I'm wondering, on Wonderland sign, should I rub it with black? What do you think, Tony? I think Too so. Too much? Okay. I think it needs to be toned It down. needs just something. It's, it's the, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to yeah. try this. Nobody panic. Yeah. Dark wax on the raised part of the gold sign at the bottom. Oh yeah, you guys, Very we white. are all on the same page. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. That'll tone it down just right. Oh my gosh, this was a good call. It just, it really was way too bright. Look at this. And you guys, look, I'm just doing it with my finger. Hazel said it's beautiful work. Thank you, Hazel. Okay, let's get in Wonderland real yep, quick. Stephanie says that's it. Yep, that is exactly what that needed. It toned it down so nice. Perfect. Okay, let's glue. Oh, that thing's just yep. hanging on for dear life. All right, let's Mary glue Swinger this says, down. Mary says yes. Yes, Mary, so I know, Pam that was good. Uh, let's see, I think I want this right here. Look, I just was like, ah, all right, that's where it's going. Okay, let's seal it and diamond dust it. Oh, I'm thrilled. I think it is darling. Very cute. And it is so whimsical and just sweet and fun. So I'm gonna use a combo of, did you guys love it? I'm so glad. I still can't believe we kept everybody. 
That's, um, that's awesome. That's a long time, you guys. Okay. The diamond dust is going to be for the win. So I'm using a two part or three parts triple thick, one part dirt clear. And you guys know when you seal, the key to sealing anything is a soft, a nice big soft brush. So here we go. And what this is going to do, are we going to seal the, um, are we going to do diamond dust on the plate, you guys? Yeah, Kathy Adams Marbury asked, are you going to do the outside edge of the clock? Yeah, I'm going to do, uh, the, I'm going to do the whole outside of this in gold, yes. But in this case, I am going to seal first before I, I, I don't want to get any of the sealer on that. But you guys know when you seal something, everything comes to life at that point. Kathy Dean says that's perfect. Now, nothing looks bright, looks amazing. Yeah. But you see, you guys, it does. It takes us a, a minute to get it right. I still am blown away by crafters that just, they have a plan, they sit down, they do it, they don't change anything. I think, how do they do that? Maybe it's because I don't practice. Judy Young says, one of a kind piece. I love it. It really is. I mean, you're not going to, you're definitely not going to find this anywhere else. Okay, so let's get that a little bit on that. She's already shiny. Um, all right, what do we decide? Are we going to diamond dust the, um, are we diamond dust the, the rabbit or the plate, like the inner plate? What are you guys thinking? Some saying no diamond dust, others saying do the diamond dust. Um, Kimberly Wold says yes on the plate, the inside of the bunny's ears. Okay. Is that what you got? Is that what everybody's saying? Because uh, I'll do whatever you want to do. Here. Well, we definitely know we're going to do inside the bunny's ears, so let's do that. So, you guys, if you're not familiar, I'm using Floracraft. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it yet because it's going to get all over the plate. So, I'm going to have to wait because everything's still wet. So, hold on. <laughs> Laura Z says, just the plate. Kathleen Lovonsky says, rabbit ears only. <laughs> and Do you see how nobody agrees? Says, no diamond dust. Yeah, nobody ever agrees. <laughs> um, I liked the idea. Let me, let me look at it. Joyce says, oh inner plate diamond dust. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, um, here's what I'm thinking. I think that I need to do black on the out edge and then gold the, the like do a gold rub over top of it so it looks more antiqued um i don't know you guys does is it the plate that we should do or is it the mustache and the ears i think those would be our options um, that's most of the suggestions we've got yeah let's see let's see who wins because right now we've got it good well, Diamond Dust will never mess you up. But anyway, Diamond Dust by Flora Craft, it's on Amazon. That's where I buy it. Sometimes you can find it on Michael's. They're all over the place, aren't they, with it? Yeah, they are. I kind of think it's the plate, you guys. Plate. I think it's the plate. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's do the plate. I think I'm almost positive it's the plate, and when you see it done, you're going to go, yep. She was right. And Marcella says ears and the mustache. Okay, well, see, <laughs> this is what happens every time. And then whatever we do, everybody goes, oh, yeah, yeah, that was good. She Plate nailed and it. Ears. That's uh, what maybe we're the most ears. Of the All right, for. maybe the ears. I think the inside. Okay, the ears are that's really good. Cute. I like that. All right, here Dixon we go. Dixon whimsical. Now, I don't do heavy, heavy, heavy diamond dust, but I do enough to make it, you know, look like it's there, but I don't do heavy, heavy. Babu says just the plate. Alright. <laughs> so does Mary White. Okay. Mary White? Uh-huh. Okay. Hold on, let's see. Okay, the plate is good. Can you see it? That that is cute. You see, I didn't put a ton on it because I don't like too much. What do you guys think? Do the ears still need it? They kinda do. Yeah. I think they do. Oh, for crying out loud. You guys know we're going to end up doing the whole thing. All right, let's try the ears. <laughs> Laura oh, CB, duh. she's having her wine already. Laura, you got to wait for me. 
Amy Jett says you do you. That's right. All right. Now, I just did a little bit on the ears, too. Oh, for sure. Look. It, it really did. It jazzed it all up. So, okay, guys, I got to go. I got to get ready for my next one. But I hope you loved it. I loved spending this time with you. I think Tony did an amazing job on Thank comments. You ladies. Um, very good. I know everybody loves my mom, but it's so nice for my mom to get to have a day off. So we're grateful. She needs some free time. She does not need that much free time. So anyway, I hope you love it. I enjoyed it. I think it's adorable. It will be in our next auction in our More membership. Hearts. Thank you so much, you guys. 4,500 stars, that might be the most I've ever had. So nice. what a great crew you are today. I love you so much. I hope you'll come back in 45 minutes, really, and watch me again. And this time I'm going to do um, bird wind chimes. So. Just come back. Uh, I'll be here on studio and also on Kathy at Royal Funky Junk's page and also in the Sparkle Room, so you can find me anywhere. Okay, love you guys, and I will see you in a little bit with my wine. All right, love you. Bye.